If you're in Web3, you probably have a wallet and it has some NFTs in it. But did you know your NFTs can have wallets, which can have NFTs in them? Hey, my name's Steve and I'm with Pinata. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can create a wallet for your NFT using ERC-6551. If you're not familiar with ERC-6551, it's a new Ethereum standard that allows people to create wallets for existing ERC-721 NFTs. This allows these NFTs to have other NFTs, tokens, or even crypto, and really gives them a new life. Let's go check it out. So the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and make sure you have the right NFT to create a token bound account for it. And you could do that just by going to OpenSea and looking at the NFT. Uh, I have one here called Astronaut Penny, very fun. And if you scroll down and go to details here, you'll see that there is the token standard and this is ERC721. So just make sure your NFT is ERC721 before going to the next step. Next thing we're gonna do is go to tokenbound.org. Tokenbound is the group of people who are working on ERC6551, and it's where you can very easily create a token bound account for your existing NFT, and it's super easy. Let me go ahead and show you how it works. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and connect wallet. You can use any wallet that you have, and I'm just gonna go ahead and connect it here. And I'm also gonna go ahead and just switch my network. There's multiple networks you can do. I'm gonna to switch to Gorly. Just do that real quick. And then I can go ahead and click on my NFTs just by clicking here. You can see all the NFTs that are in my wallet. These are all test NFTs. I'm gonna go ahead and find Astronaut Penny here. Now this is the NFT that we were looking at earlier. And all I have to do is click deploy account and it's gonna ask me to sign a transaction, pay some gas fees. Transaction's been submitted, and it's gonna take probably around 20, 30 seconds, depending on network speed or what chain you're using, because as of right now, there are other chains supported, such as uh, Polygon, Mumbai, Gorly, Ethereum, Mingnet, a few others, so be sure to check those out. Once the transaction's finished, you should now have a token bad account for your NFT, and you'll actually see it listed right here, this little address. So if we click on this, we have our Ethereum address. So I'm gonna go ahead and send it some ETH so we can look at the balance change and show that this NFT owns this much crypto. It's really cool. All right, so I sent my NFT's wallet 0.5 ETH. Shows up right here, very cool. Of course, that's not the only thing you can do. If we go back to tokenbound.org, if we send that same address that we sent some crypto to, maybe send it an NFT, it'll actually show up on tokenbound and show that this astronaut penny owns this entity. And of course, this is only the beginning, and there's a lot of different things people are already doing with 6551, and you can explore some of those on tokenbound.org's website. So for instance, uh, the Sapiens has a really cool collection where the avatar itself is actually being built by the items that it holds. So you have just a base person, but if they have this flower background, then that's what their background looks like. And the same goes for any of its clothing or maybe this helmet. Well, that wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below on how you think ERC 6551 is gonna change the NFT industry. Until next time, have a good one.